all right i decided to make another video for you guys um this is like it's going to be the full process um on how to do an ews key so basically um this is the ews module this is the module that you have to remove from your vehicle once you remove the ews module from the vehicle um there will be this card inside of it inside of this once you take it out of the box put the box to the side then you connect the ap b114 to the xp 400 pro it'll just connect into it and then uh the board for the mobilizer will connect into the ap um b114 and then um everything just connects and then you uh this is the process from here so basically um what this is is the id44 chip this is what comes in the bmw remotes so this is a chip outside of it i'm not going to program this actual key but if you were programming an actual key the, the key itself but this same chip is in there and this is what makes the car start when you program it so even if you wanted to program this one you could just put it here and it'll program the chip here once the process is fully complete or you can put it here in this hole and um it'll go down like this and then program the chip inside like that okay i'm just showing you guys um so basically once you have everything connected here like i have so which you know this connects into that this connects into this it's it's like a whole process so basically you'll just be plugging you know these prongs into this like so that slides into that it's that easy then it's gonna have a ground wire that's connected here that ground wire you will run under under the EWS board and solder onto the joint on the bottom the back of it then this piece here plugs into the accessory port like so okay then we go to programmer we'll go to accept this is the process of all the x3s the older x3s the 5 series the old ones um then you go to chip eprom chip read and write then we're going to go to a mobilizer bmw then we're going to go to ews k line then you're going to hit ok all you can go to schematic diagram it'll show you a schematic of basically how to connect everything in order to read it okay so basically i'm gonna click on that zoom in this is what i was showing you guys that it connects here um comes from the factory connected here and then um it connects to the bottom of the ews board here you just sort of the joint that's it okay i'm gonna go back now we're going to go to read so now i'm going to read the information off the ews board so now it's reading the chip just give it a minute okay it's at 100 percent and it's going to redo reload again loading okay now this is the data from the board so basically what it's it's showing you all the information so you can add a key so now what I'm gonna do is save this EWS file to the computer I already have an EWS file here from another unit so I'm gonna put this one as 34 okay so the file was successfully saved Okay, so that's the information from here was saved. So now I'm going to escape, 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 escape again. And then escape, escape. Then I'm going to go to right key VIA dump. Okay, the XP400 is connected already. You're going to go to Europe, BMW. Okay, EWS3 click right here 
Okay, so now I'm going to go to load data. EWS uh, 3K line, all 34 bin. This is the one that I just saved. So now it's going to analyze the data. It's loading it up. It says key data is ready. Select the key number and press to make a key. So I'm going to press OK. OK. So it's showing, this one is showing key slots 1 through do, 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 7 is used. So we have key 8, 9, and 10 that are unused. So that's what I'm going to use to make a key. So I'm going to click on 8. Click on make key. It says add a key, key number 8. I have the chip in here. So it's creating the data and it's writing the, the information. And it's blinking. So it's writing it to the chip. So it will work 100% in the car. So once you just take this chip. Uh, put it in the key or you can just put this in there and then just plug in the chip that's in the key and uh, just put it in the car and that's it well you gotta put the EWS module in first and then you can start the car once you put this back in put this module plug it back in <sighs> cut the blade and you're good to go oh what you can do is just hold this up to the ignition the chip and um, just crank it and then we'll start the car. Okay, it says operation complete and the key is ready for use. So basically that process is done. So now we're gonna check key slot eight. Key slot eight is now used. Okay. Key slot eight is now used and that's it. You've uh, written another key. Well, you've written a key. All you have to do is put this chip in your remote and that's it. You're good to go. And then the buttons you're manually programming by, you know, putting the key in the ignition, turning to the on position, and then hitting the lock button, and then holding this, and then hitting the the lock button. I think like six or seven times to um, sync the buttons for the remote to lock and unlock the doors. All this does is this programs it to start the vehicle. So that's it. That's the whole process. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. Hit the like, share, subscribe, and comment. Peace.